What's up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge Softball Edition. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. But before we even get started, let's just take a minute to watch a thing of beauty. There you have it, and Kenzie Hansen uh, continues to, uh, I guess you could say, her illustrious career here at the University of Oklahoma uh, because she's staying around for another year, using that extra year she has uh, to help the Sooners seek another national title. And guys, uh, Kenzie Hansen, I, we, there's a whole lot of words that we could use to describe her, but... Uh, what she has become, in my opinion, is the most elite clutch hitter in the game. No doubt. No doubt for sure. I mean, look in the World Series, what she did. Yeah, and she did it. She did it last year uh, coming off injury, right? And the thing is, her. I mean, yeah, her bat's awesome. There's not many that play defense better than Kenzie Hansen. Nope. She won the Johnny Bench Award. Okay. She, you want her to throw from her knees, she'll throw from her knees. You want her to frame a ball, she'll frame a ball. You want her to uh, catch a wild pitch, she'll catch it. Uh, I mean, she just all encompassing leader of the team. Uh, I mean, to me, I mean, we're, we're going to have a video in a couple, well, in about five or six days after we get done with the seniors, guys. It's going to be about who the captain should be next year, and we'll get into that. But uh, she's got her name up there on the list to be the captain. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, and one thing that – like, she does it all. I mean, you already said that, but I, I don't think it's a coincidence that the game they lost, she was not behind the plate uh, catching ball. She just she, – she knows the game so well. She's the epitome of a leader, okay? She's uh, the captain, the leader, you could say that, so with several of these ladies, these athletes, but – uh, she's done it all, and again, the clutch hitting from Kenzie Hansen is not just one. I mean, they call her K-9, but she's pretty much given OU nine lives in several occasions. Yeah, that's true. And, you know, m most people like to call Kenzie Hansen a dog or whatever, but you know what, guys? I think she's actually a wolf because she eats the dogs out there. She's the best of the best. She's the dominant one. Her presence, you feel it. You see the leadership capability she has behind the plate. And, Jeremy, as you said, the only game they lost, she was not behind the plate. That was not a coincidence. Just her defensive, really, I feel like a lot of people talk about the clutchness, the, the, the leadership. But as Jason said, her defense, you talk about the great defensive players Oklahoma, Oklahoma has on this team. Kenzie Hansen may just be the best. Like, and whenever you talk about the likes of Tiari Jennings, Riley Boone, and Jada Coleman, Hansen – is just on maybe on another level on another planet compared to everyone else on this team defensively. Hey, and I'll I'll go back to one play in, in, in specific. And last year, last season, and this this to me kind of describes Kenzie Hansen. Uh, how hard she works, how hard she prepares. Do y'all remember the pass ball or the, the wild pitch last year off the wall? Against Oklahoma State, yep, she yep. practiced those yeah. in warm-up. She had practiced it in warm-up. Mm -hmm. Guys, nothing else needs to be said. I mean, she is detailed. She prepares. And, in fact, I don't know, and I'm, I'd love for our viewers to comment here, what is the one thing – what is the thing she needs to improve on more for next year? Because you talk about from a freshman to now, she's – I mean, she's improved so much in every aspect of her game. I, I'm trying to think in my head, okay, where can she get better? I, I, I'm just – Well, and to me, the thing that stands out for Hanson is she really made the biggest jump from her freshman to her sophomore year. And with her freshman year, she only had four home runs, but her sophomore year, she had 24 home runs. So you just talk about someone that really showed the ability to have the pop in the bat – and also her sophomore year, she had 66 RBIs with a slugging percentage of 893, almost 900, and an on-base percentage of almost 500. So you talk about just someone offensively that was on 
maybe the best offensive season of her career while also developing into elite defensive player. Now Hanson has just become such a consistent bat for OU. I think last year that she hit the ball better last year, I think. Percentage-wise, she didn't hit, hit as many bombs last year, but she didn't yeah. like – you know, I, I think sandwiched there by Allo, it's going to be a little easier maybe to get pitches to hit. But uh, one thing that can be said about K-9, Kenzie Hansen, is you can see it even on the U.S. women's national team, the amount of leadership capabilities she has is unbelievable. There's, you know, Kennedy. I mean, people are just – they swarm to her. The young, the old, everybody swarms to Kenzie Hansen because that is the charisma and energy, passion that she brings to everything she does, whether it's a camp that she's leading. And I'm going to tell you one Kenzie Hansen story that I remember is when she was basically benched, they pinch hit for her. I don't know if you guys remember this. In the They pinch hit for her in the World Series, and her attitude never changed. She, she had already got two clutch hits. I was even questioning what Gasso was doing there, but Kenzie Hansen is all team, all the time, nothing about herself. You can't have enough uh, ladies like Kenzie Hansen out there. And OU, we're, we are fortunate to have Kenzie Hansen. We are so fortunate to get this extra year with Kenzie Hansen. Yeah, and one, one thing I don't think that's mentioned enough with her either is, uh, is her ability – because as a as a catcher, you are your every play is coming to you, okay. And the fact that the pitching staff at OU seems to get better and better. And I know Jen Roach. I know the the pitching coach is outstanding. I know the pitchers are great too. But the catcher is part of that battery, okay. And she she's I mean even last year with Jordy Ball with the, she she wore the blue uh, protective cover. It's just like whatever it takes to help the pitchers out, right? Whatever it takes, either be framing it or whatever. Uh, maybe it's a, hey, you got this. Maybe it's an encouraging thing to the pitchers saying something at the right time. I mean, that that's leadership right there. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, it'll be interesting as uh, next season comes around what uh, uh, OU decides to do captain-wise and things like that. But what a joy it will be to have K-9 Kenzie Hansen behind the plate again for the Sooners. And, guys, one thing to think about, it is huge to have Kenzie Hansen there with the staff that they have, pitching staff of six six arms. Who better to be behind there catching them all and just leading by example because, you know, you got the likes of Kelly Maxwell, Deal, Garen, uh, Monticelli, I'm going to miss some, right? Nicole May, uh, on and on. You got to have someone like Kenzie Hansen back there. She's so. the best. She's the best catcher in all time softball. I yep, think. and she's gonna, hey, she's going to win the Johnny Bench again next year. That's what I was going to ask. Will she go back to back? Oh yeah, she, she will go back to back. She'll she'll uh, stamp herself as the best catcher in the game ever. And guys, you need to be like Kenzie Hansen right now. You won't be able to, but don't allow an error. Click on the subscribe button. Okay, be clutch, just like Canon. Click subscribe, turn on your notifications, because again, I'm on a little, little teaser. You don't want to miss tomorrow. You do not want to miss tomorrow, Sooner Nation. Subscribe, follow, get after it. Boomer. Boomer. Boomer.